Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. A whole ocean, just a sheet of ice. What does it mean, Troy? Why has it happened? I don't know, Atlanta. I just don't know. Well, so far, it's only the Atlantic that's been affected. Northwest Pacific frozen? What in thunder's going on? Every ocean's been affected. Well, what do the weather boys say, Troy? Well, that's just it, phones. They're as baffled as we are. But this is serious, Troy. It's more than that, honey. It's disastrous. I wonder how the meeting's going at World Security Patrol Headquarters. 
Well, gentlemen, I'm baffled. This just doesn't add up. It's a fantastic situation. Fantastic or not, it's happened. The world is beginning another ice age. So it's only a matter of time before the Earth will be too cold for any living thing to survive. That's right. Meanwhile, we are faced with the questions. Why pink ice? Why no warning in weather conditions? And why has it happened? Then our first task is to investigate the frozen areas. That's where your organization comes in, sure. You mean a submarine vessel is to be used, sir? Right. We must have on-the-spot reports immediately. And may I return to Marineville to brief my crews personally, sir? That, of course, is essential. Look, there's Father's plane now. Yeah, with a fighter escort. How about that? What exactly did the commander say, Atlanta? Oh, just to meet him here and that he'd brief us all personally before returning to HQ. What do you think's the next move, Troy? I don't know. But one thing's for sure, we'll be involved. have you got, Father? Just 30 minutes. I have to leave by 10.30. Now, I'll give you the full briefing, Troy. Now, any questions? Guess not. You've given it to us straight, Commander. We'll do our best. Good. And remember, the survival of the whole world could depend on you. Right. Let's get Stingray underway. Stingray moving at maximum speed to investigation zone. Okay, Atlanta. Commander Shaw will be coming through from HQ any moment now. Anything from Stingray yet, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. There appears to be no ice around Marineville coastline. Good. Keep me informed of Stingray's progress. Yes, sir. So, some areas are still clear. Then for how long? Let's hope Stingray can tell us soon, Commander. Approach in position north-northwest, 8,000, reference forward, Troy. Okay, phones. Stand by to surface. Water temperature falling rapidly. Yeah, and I can see why. Can you tell how thick the ice is, phones? No, the sound scan can't penetrate it. Okay, let's surface and see if we can break through. It's solid, Troy. Yeah. Try again. It's no good. It's like rock. Take her down. We'll go on and try and find a break. No break, Troy. Keep trying, phones. Troy, I think I found one. Give me surface video scan, 40 feet. SVS, 40 feet. Yeah, 
There's a break. Okay, surface. We made it. Okay, let's take a look around. Get the Arctic gear. It's fantastic. It doesn't seem for real. No, oh, it's real, all right. Come on, let's take a look. Well, it feels like ice. Yeah, and it looks like ice. Let's see if it tastes like ice. Ooh, it's got a bitter taste. Sure has. What do you make of it? Well, I'd say at a guess it's been produced chemically. That would account for the color and the suddenness of its appearance. You mean it's not a trick of nature? It's a trick, all right. But nature's got nothing to do with it. And if we don't do something, we're all going to be frozen off the face of the Earth. Well, gentlemen, the latest report from Stingray confirms that the ice contains strong traces of a chemical solution. Man-made, huh? Who on Earth would want to do such a thing? Not on Earth, sir. Under it. At least under the ocean. Well, it's got to be stopped. Well, let's study the order in which the oceans were frozen. It might give us a clue. First, the North Atlantic was hit. Then the South Atlantic. And so on to the South Pacific. Because I figure it is the widest sea mass, only the western half of the North Pacific has been affected. A definite pattern, a tour round the world. Which suggests one thing, a craft sailing beneath the surface, covering every ocean. But why hasn't the eastern part of the North Pacific been touched? Perhaps because the craft hasn't reached there yet. That is why Marineville is ice-free. My guess is the next trouble spot will be around position north-northwest 2000 reference 2. Stingray from tower, proceed to position north-northwest 2000 reference 2 and report on local conditions. Be on the alert for alien underwater craft. PWOR. One eight zero green phones. One eight zero green. Commence sound scan. If there's a craft in the area, I want to know about it. How long before we get to investigation zone? Well, uh, about two and a half hours, Troy. Let's make it in two. Rate six. Rate six it is. investigation zone, Skipper. Not bad. One hour, 55 minutes. Good. There's no ice. Okay, surface. Cloud, four tents, no white horses.
Well, I've made four sweeps and there's no sign of ice. Yeah, the air's pretty warm, Troy. Better check the sea temperature. Phones. Am I seeing things? The water's turning pink. Troy, look. Phones, let's get out of here. The ocean's freezing by the second. If we don't get below the surface, we've had it. Flood cue. Dive, dive, dive. Troy, we're not moving. We're iced up. That means whoever's responsible is somewhere in the area. What now? Well, we revert to the plan we discussed. Operation Ice Blast. Marineville from Stingray. Marineville from Stingray. Come in, please. Go ahead, Stingray. Atlanta, I want you to listen carefully. Fire hydromic missiles. Target area, north-northwest, 2,000, reference to, subcode 2400. North-northwest, 2,000, reference to... Troy, have you gone crazy? That's the area you're in now. Look, there's no time. Stingray's trapped in the ice, and we've got to get the heck out of here. Troy, he's gone. What am I to do? Do as he says, Atlanta. Guess they'll get clear of the blast area. It could work, providing we don't hit Stingray. But the hydromic missiles have an accuracy limitation of five miles. If they were slightly off course, it could be much greater. Sure, it's chancy, all right, but Troy must know that. Well, all the same, I can't do it. I'm going to contact Father. Commander, there's a message from Troy. He wants us to bombard the area that Stingray's in with hydromic missiles. For what reason, Lieutenant? Stingray's frozen in the ice. Right. But you'll have to keep a close check on the missiles. Any inaccuracy could be fatal. But, sir, we can't control the missiles 100%. Troy knows what he's doing. If he says fire the missiles, then fire the missiles. That is an order. Hydromic missiles, aquamarine. All systems are at go. Please confirm course double checked. All guidance systems double checked. Okay. Blast off. Troy from tower. Confirm blast off at 13, 25, and 20 seconds. Good luck. Seventy-five seconds, Troy. Do you think it worked? I'll let you know. In exactly 75 seconds. Marineville tracking station calling. Hydromic missile trajectory variance. Point zero seven. Correct course, correct course. It's vital that complete accuracy is maintained. Course corrected. Endeavoring to maintain. Impact, 30 seconds. What worries me is the slightest change in wind variations could put them off just enough I to... I know, but that mustn't happen. It mustn't. Point zero two. Correct course. Correct course. Maximum control applied. Variance still point zero one. Oh, Troy, what have I done?
impact. 15 seconds. Course correction still at maximum. If they move off course now, then we can do nothing. Guess we won't even see them coming. A flash, and then either way, it'll be all over. Impact, five seconds. Shooting Atlanta. Stingrays clear. Any news from Stingray Atlanta? She's free of ice, sir, and proceeding to track underwater craft. Good. Your boys certainly are on the ball, Shaw. The Stingray crew are the best in the service, sir. If they can't crack this thing wide open, nobody can. Start sound scan phones. If there's a craft, we've got to find it. Which well, probably miles away by now. What is it, phones? Have you picked up anything? Hold it a minute, Troy. Yep. That's our baby. Right. Acceleration rate six. Range, 2,000 yards. Fifteen hundred yards. Keep going. One thousand yards. Bones, I can see it. Right, fire sting missile. Well, gentlemen, all reports indicate that the ice is melting and no further incidents have occurred. It would seem Operation D Freeze is complete. Well, Commander Shaw, on behalf of us all here at World Security Patrol Headquarters, may I congratulate you and your team for a fine bit of work. I think this calls for a little celebration. How about a drink, Commander? Oh, uh, just a uh, cola for me, sir. I've uh, got to get back to Marineville. On the rocks, Sam? Definitely no ice. Why, thanks, Atlanta. But, uh, what is it? It's the new Marineville cocktail. It's called Pink Ice. Pink Ice? <laughs> well, that's what I call cool. <laughs> Real cool. that start whenever you're near. Marina, aqua marina, why can't you whisper the words that my heart is longing to hear? Your magic to me, a beautiful mystery. I'm certain to fall, I know, 
Because you enthrall me so Marina Aqua Marina Why don't you say That you'll always stay Close to my heart 